Here we are outside Dean Court, and I am pleased to tell you all, I'm sure you already know, that that is a Bournemouth win, and I'm with Simon here, and Simon looks very excited. Simon, how do you feel? I feel bloody fantastic after that. That was a really good performance all round. Uh, Christy doesn't know how to score, but let's park that for one minute <laughs> and focus on the all-round display. Lewis Cook, absolute Rolls-Royce. I mean, every game that we play at the minute, he seems to take it up a notch, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. Gliding around, finding yeah. the pass, doing the business, definite man of the match. So many chances. Could have been, what, seven, eight, nine? I'm very yeah. happy. Very happy indeed. A collector's edition of a goal from him as well. Very, very rare. Yeah, it was kind of one of those where you're like, shoot, 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 and then, oh shit, it's gone in. Yeah, it did, yeah. It was kind of like, yes. And then you thought, more, more, more. And it was yeah. like, just give me more. I was soaking it up. Were you enjoying that? I was really enjoying it. I was, I was excited about the fact that we didn't seem to, uh, until the last few minutes, we won't talk about that just yet, but yeah. uh, we kept going, didn't we? We, we went yeah, to put we the game did. to bed. And we've been wanting some performances like that more often because yeah. so often we've like done a bit, then stop, do a little bit, then stop, then stop again, then yeah. stop again. But it was all go today. So the foot was down all the way along and we want more of that week in, week out. So very happy. A little bits of sloppiness, but I'm forgetting about that today. We're just going to let that go. Keep all positive. Keep all positive. Onwards I love it. Onwards to Wednesday. Onwards to Wednesday. All Good right. to see you, buddy. Take care. Oh, that was lovely. What a great start that was. Ah! It's Noah. How are you? Good. I'm going to come down for this one. What did you think about that for a game? Amazing. Amazing. Why was it amazing? Because of the goals. <laughs> you love goals, don't you? Yeah. What was your favourite goal? Um, It was... Uh, Solanke's equaliser. Ah, yes, the, the early yeah. one from Solanke. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was really good as well. Uh, my favourite was probably uh, Dembele's. I didn't get as good a view of it as you. Was it as good as it as I think it was? So he kicked it in, then he, then I think he was served over. Oh, okay. Okay. Then he got up and did his celebration. Well, he didn't even do his celebration. Because a player was already wanting to hug him. Oh, so he didn't get a chance to do his own celebration? Yeah. Have you got a celebration when you score a goal, yeah. Noah? What do you do? An east side. We won't do it here. It's a bit hard, but maybe another time. Another time. Brilliant. Oh, it's yeah. lovely to see you. And I'll speak to you again yeah. soon, I guess. Okay. OK, brilliant. Super. Hello, what's your name? Uh, Harry and Thomas. Harry and Thomas, right, both of you together. Yeah. Ah, you brothers? Yeah. Thought you were. Um, what did you think of that game there? Oh, amazing. Yeah, action-packed too. Action-packed. Yeah, that's what we like, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know how we didn't, like, moan like, in the end. It, it, could, so, it could have been way more goals for both teams. Yeah. Now, I, I was sat in the Ted Mac, so that's the south yeah, end. Yeah. Where, where were you guys sat? Um, family stand. Family stand? Yeah. So, uh, the, the, my, one of my favourite parts of the game, we talked about the goals already a little bit, but was uh, there was a save from Travers near yeah. the end. Did you see oh, that save? Um, I think, was he, like, diving? Like, yeah. Yeah, something like that. I yeah. don't know, because I, I went down, so I don't know if I did or not. Oh, OK. So, what was your favourite part of the game? Um, probably... Cook's goal. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was good. He doesn't score many, does he? When he does, it's always good. <laughs> that's a good one. That's the best way to be, isn't it? Yeah. 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 If you don't do it often, but when you do, it's really, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Did you get a good view of the Dembele goal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he, he basically, um, he took on like five players. Really? He ran. And, and then, then he faked it. He faked it again. And then... Just got in, shot which was good. Brilliant, that does sound brilliant. Thank you yeah. so much for coming on, boys. Thanks. Absolute delight. Thanks. See you again soon. Yeah, see you. Thank you. Hi, Ken, how are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Good, yeah, not Hi, too sir. bad. You weren't sat too far away from me. I could no. see you just, yeah. just over there. Yeah, you uh, did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't shout too loud. No, I was shouting too. Oh, it's right. fine, we're all shouting. Uh, cracking game, though. Brilliant game, brilliant performance, good all round team effort. Yeah. Lewis Cook, rightly man of the match. Solanke, a very, very close second. His mm. work rate was phenomenal today. He came really deep like he does for the ball. Yeah. And yeah. there was one point where he, uh, he sort of, he thought, oh, he's not going to get that. And he just kind of beat off two players, somehow turned him. Unbelievable. Turning points of the game, that saved by Travers. Yet oh. again, how many times have we said that this season? I don't remember many times in, in my whole time coming here that we've had uh, people stand and celebrate a save as if it was a goal. Absolutely, absolutely. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. Yeah. Unbelievable. I, it's happened so many times this season. Uh, but we're a team, aren't we? Yeah. You know, and we stick together. Where's all the grumpy people now? Where's, <laughs> yeah. all, where's all the Parker out people? Gone? I don't know. I think they've gone home. I think they have. I think they've gone home. Um, and it's just absolutely tremendous. Uh, good for the boys. Good for the manager. Good for the fans.
brilliant. Oh, we, anyone, I was talking with Tom before the game, and if, if you catch out our match day vlog, that'll be out tomorrow. Catch that one. I will do. Yeah, thank yeah, you. That, that's my way of keeping in touch with everything. And he said on that about the, the strength of our bench, and it really showed today. The um, players were able yeah, to bring on. Yeah, that goal by Dembele. And Lewis Cook, another rare thing. Yeah. Two goals now. He's climbing the ladder, isn't he? He's climbing the ladder. The yeah. thing about him, though, everybody was criticising him when he came back from injury. Oh, he's not fitting into the team, this, that and the other. Yeah. The last, what was it, four or five games? Man of the match most of the time. And he's, he's proving his worth. Brilliant. Yeah, great. Uh, a couple of games on the road now. Yeah, I can't get to the West Brom game. I bought a ticket for Coventry, quite happy about that. And I'm even thinking of driving to Swansea. Whoa. Because nice. I can't get a coach ticket. I, yeah. I desperately want to go. Yeah. And I'm thinking, to hell with it. I'm, I might just drive up there. Brilliant. So that's good. But anyway, great weekend. Up the cherries. Up the cherries yeah. indeed. Lovely to see you. <laughs> yes. Now, I'll tell you what. Yeah. For a baked potato, that was a pretty special goal, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, you have to watch the vlog tomorrow to get that joke. What did I say to you? So you gave me a little. No, you gave me a nice donut when I saw you this morning. I did, yeah. And I said I'm going to keep the wrapper. It's going to be did. good luck for the rest of the season. So yeah, happy with that. Missed the first goal. Of course uh, you did. It was 41 minutes. <laughs> yeah, missed the down. first goal. Yeah. But no, I tell you what. Goal aside, uh, probably oh, yeah. we were just saying then. Probably the first five and the last five. Yeah. Aside, I thought we were good today. Yeah. I thought we were positive. I thought it was all us, and we just took our chance, didn't we? I was worried it was going to get frustrating. The goal before half time was massive. But yeah, apart from the, Zo- I'm not convinced on Zola Markham when they got a big lump like that. But and yeah. Travers makes a massive save at two one, which I'm sure people have mentioned already. Yes, it was incredible, huge, and that's what he's there for. But we were good today. We were good today, and we were well worthy of it. And the subs played a big part as well. Dembele with his goal, brilliant. Got Dom off, got Lerma off. Yeah, had yeah. a bit of a rest and buzzing for Lewis Cook. I think the keeper should save it. I'm right behind it. He should save it. But fair play to Lewis for having a go, and he was superb again in that role, wasn't he? So yeah, happy days. Seen uh, Luton drop points. Sheffield yeah. lost. It's done. No, no one seemed to get any injuries, Tom. So you like, I don't, I don't like to do this so early. But can I press you for some of your mystic powers? Now we're mm. going next game. Oh, bloody Are hell. we going to get the same eleven? Eleven, three games yeah. in a row. It's interesting because of the when you think of how quickly the games are coming round, and we've obviously got another early kickoff on the Saturday after West Brom. Yeah. And the fact he didn't bring Cantwell on no. makes you think, is he thinking, oh, I might play him on? And he played Billing for ninety, so I wouldn't be surprised if them two maybe switch for an away game. Yeah. Apart good. from that. And you never know with Smith and Stacey with Smith having his injury, but um, we've got the we've got the options. We saw that, like I say, with Dembele coming on. Yeah. Pearson little cameo. It was all it was all happy days today. And I like the fact that we went a goal behind and you know it could, we could have got really frustrated and you know kind of oh Ethan's against us again. But we we just we just got to it and done our job. So yeah, really really pleased. And as I say, with the results going our way, I think it's done, boys. I think it's there. I'm seeing it. Adam's here. Come on, lad. Adam, what do you think? Are we going up? Yeah. Yes. He loves it. Good. Uh, what did you think was good about the game today? Uh, for the for once. <laughs> I reckon everything was really good. Yeah? I don't know what to say was the best, though. Did you have a hot dog? Yeah. Have, what was that like? Good. Was it as good as the football? No. No. Never is. <laughs> Sorry, rollover. <laughs> Who's man of the match, Chad? Lewis Cook. Lewis yeah, Cook. Yeah. Agree with you. I'll Agree with say, you. I was just saying then, why is Ryan Christie the best footballer in the world <laughs> and then he has a shot and he turns into Ryan Fraser. I know. Uh, I mean, honestly, he couldn't miss. I don't know how he missed it, bless him, but worked his socks off apart from that, didn't he? But yeah, they got a queue today. Yeah. We have got a Look at that, queue, we're yeah. loving it. Yeah. Get them on. Moving on, moving on. Cheers. Good on. It's good to see you. Good. Hello there. Hello, gentlemen. Did you enjoy that game? Yeah, Face this way for me, will you? Look at the camera. Oh. I enjoyed that. So what was good about that game? What made it a good game? Slanky scoring. Yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty good goal, wasn't it? Um, were you worried when we were a goal down? No, I wasn't. No, look at that confidence. <laughs> no, definitely. The confidence in you. No, I, had, I knew they would, that would, they would change their run and make it a goal. You, you knew? You just knew? You felt it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, what was the best goal today, do you think? Uh, Dembele. Dembele. He was special, wasn't he? With his feet. Could you, what he did with his feet there, I couldn't make it all out. Did you get a good view of it? Oh. No. South stand when it happened. That's where I was too. That's where I was. Uh, and Travers made a pretty incredible save as well. Did you see that? Yeah. I mean, that's almost as good as a goal, isn't it? If you can make a save like that. I'm better though. Are you better? <laughs> New. Uh, so your future Bournemouth football goal, football goalkeeper? Do you think? It's because I'm meaning play 
play for a, for a, a team called Dexter Sports and Dexter Sports. Yeah, and he's a he's a he's a midfield player. I'm a keeper. Sometimes I'm on the field. So. Fantastic! I'm just hearing my ear now. That's who Eddie Howe played for. We think that team when he was younger. So that's that's really good, guys. So I'm really I'm, the reason I'm better than um, the, here. Oh really? Too, because um, um, in the last game. I th- no, it was a really long time ago. I got two players kicked the ball up my face oh. twice. Oh, okay. Uh, well, thinking positive though, Bournemouth going up. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. They're going up a hundred. Thanks, boys. Come, thanks for coming on. Fantastic. Hello there, how you doing? I'm all right, thank you. How Good. Are you? Yeah, not too bad. Well, I, I must, I, I'm getting a bit excited to keep shouting down, yeah. down the microphone here. Uh, did you have a, a good afternoon? Did you enjoy the game? Yeah, I thought it was a really good game. Um, I'll admit, it was a little bit nervous when that first goal went in, but I did have a feeling, you know, after, after that goal went in, next probably 20, 25 minutes was all Bournemouth. Yeah. And you just felt the goal was coming. And then obviously they were uh, just on the verge of half time, I think it was, or just before got the um, the early goal and it was a really good it was a really good move as well I thought and finished quite well by Dominic Solanke the, the team before had a lot of criticism for being able to play against teams who perhaps came here and, and put more men behind the ball and yeah. how we break but it really did seem like I don't know if, if Bristol were trying to do that but I felt early that they were but we were able to move their players around we were yeah. able to actually get a yeah. bit of space and then eventually they ended up going up didn't they moved to a five back I, I think they later did, yeah. later in the game and then they changed it again they changed quite a few times in that game but every time they changed it Bournemouth just seemed to have an answer for it yeah um, and yeah I, I thought there was a little bit of cheating cheating by Bristol I thought I thought the referee wasn't amazing but Apart from that, Bournemouth did their job. They got what they needed, three points, and move on to the next one, get next three points, and then you look look at the league table. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, many, how many wins do you think we need now? How many wins do I think we need? Yeah. But nine games left. Oh, I'd want to say, I'd want to say you win them all, but obviously, I think you only need a few. You need to, we need to pick up points against Fulham, and then, that, and then when, when, when we beat Fulham, that's when you look at... How many wins do you think you need? I okay. think. Real. Real. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Much appreciated. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Alec? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy the game today? Uh, what a game! What what a game! I get Parker's sort of comment on how we play. It's he said we wait until the perfect moment to score. What I he, he kind of. I, from what I'm interpreting, kind of misworded that. I feel like what he meant to say was kind of we tired him out. We so we just play pro- proper possession-based football, tire them out, then we score. We we get them when they're when they're just tired, and that really showed today. I mean, we got three glorious goals from it. We, I, I sorry, I still can't believe Lewis Cook. That was what a goal. Um, yeah, Lewis Cook uh, probably going to play for England in a couple of years. I'd say. Travers class, everyone was class. It was just a well-rounded, good team effort. I'd say. I think it was as well. It's just starting to rain a little bit, so we're, yep. we'll move quite quickly through. Uh, who, I mean, Lewis Cook, man of the match, I think deservedly. If you had to pick someone who, who kind of just got close to that, who, who would be your, your second player of the match? Ooh. It would, I'd say probably Dom Solanke, right? Because he sort of, it was weird, he kind of played as well as being a poacher, sort of a box-to-box midfielder sort of thing, where he would be sometimes behind Lerma and Cook, just get just running with the ball, trying to, get it out to Christy and uh, Anthony and yeah it just his work rate's something else it's brilliant yeah he does a lot for us doesn't he kind of a yeah. beating heart okay we've got a few games coming up now I've, I've asked a few people about this yeah. points needed to get promotion or the amount of games we need to win what, what do you think I think well I think we're awful but everyone else is worse worse than us <laughs> so I feel like we'll go up but just because just because everyone else is worse than us. Wait, who's wait? Who's our next game? Uh, next game is uh, West Brom away. Ooh. Yeah, we, we we should be able to go. We should be able to win against them. But yeah, I feel like it'll be. It should be an easy second place for us. I'd say. Okay, excellent, excellent. Right, just starting to rain, so I'll let you yeah. go because you haven't got a hood. See you later. Brilliant. Hey, Neil, how are you doing? I'm going to put my little little hood up. I hope yeah. nobody minds. Yeah. I might be here That's for a while. That's my only concern, I think, after that game is your hair. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to be concerned. I've got a team of stylists. They'll sort me out I'm in a minute. Sure yeah. Uh, what was your view of the game today? Where, what's, where, which stand were you in? Uh, I was in the uh, north stand. 
Oh, oh brilliant! You might be able to, to go right at the back. give me a little yeah. bit of light on the Dembele goal because I didn't get a good look at that. Uh, yeah, Dembele goal. Yeah, fantastic. Nice little ball, and he ran onto it, just cut inside. Literally just went around a couple of players, almost fainted to to do something, and then and then went past the defender and uh, knocked it in. So yeah, really lovely goal. Uh, good. And, and the whole game was played at such a good tempo. I thought today, much better than the recent games. Uh, so yeah, I was happy with that. It felt like we were... Were we allowed to play at our tempo or did we force the game at our tempo? That's the thing I couldn't quite work out. I mean, I couldn't work out, did Bristol City come to sit behind the ball? Because we felt that we might be dealing with a with a, a kind of a low block, but mm-hmm. uh, we managed to pull them around quite a bit, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But I think um, what's different about today, uh, which we haven't seen so much in previous games, is that Lewis Cook was far more dynamic uh, moving through the middle of the park and that yeah. was forcing them to reshape. Um, whereas when we're just playing the U shape in and around from the central defenders yes. to the sides then it's su- such a lot easier to defend it's getting wet isn't it it is getting wet it's getting wet uh, are you on the road you're going to go to some of the away games coming up uh, yeah I'm missing West Brom unfortunately I'm working in London yeah, um, uh, but yeah I think I'm probably at six of the next seven so yeah looking forward to that it's going to be a cracking running, isn't it? My, my, I think maybe three more wins. I think might That's be enough. You reckon? I think so. That's, I think so. Uh, yeah, that'd be nice. It'd be nice to get them on the board soon. Yeah, we It'd might. Really we, nice. You know, I think the next home game, Middles. Middlesbrough is it? on Easter Friday. Yeah, that's next home game. Yeah, it's a little yeah. way away, but you know that two away and then one, and then a home. Yeah. Cool. We could be could we could we be celebrating by Fulham? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's going to be a little bit tighter than that. Okay. But. Results again have gone with us today. Yeah. A lot of draws today, so that's helped us out. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so all good, really. Brilliant. Upper cherries. Yeah, in all departments. In all departments. Okay, See thank you, you so guys. much. Hi there. Hi. Hi, your name is? Uh, Joseph. Nice I to say, meet you, Joseph. I'm a, I'm a fan from America. Oh, uh, amazing. Here. What part of America States? are you from? Uh, Colorado. Colorado, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Rapids, brilliant. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was my first time ever at... First time ever in Bournemouth, no first time at a Cherries match. Uh, I very much enjoyed it. I just want to say, yeah, again, huge fan of you guys. Oh, thank you so much. We, you you picked doing. a good game to come and watch. How long yes. are you here for? Uh, I, this is just a day trip. So I'm okay. studying abroad in London, actually. Okay. Uh, so I just took a trip down this morning uh, yeah. and then coach back later tonight. Uh, oh, brilliant. Well, you, yeah. you must try and catch another game yes, at some point. Yes, I, I will try. Uh, <laughs> they make it really hard for people who have never gone to a game to go to more games, but yeah. if the opportunity comes, I will for sure try to <laughs> go to another one. But yeah, that was a, that was a great experience. <laughs> brilliant. Well, I don't want to hold you in the rain for too long, but yeah. I'd really like to know, for someone who's, who, you know, it's your first game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, what, what was your highlight of the game? What, what kind of stuck out for you? What are you going to take home and dream about all night long? Oh, man. Uh, I'll just say that I was sitting next to the Bristol uh, City away fans. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the banter between both sides is nothing, nothing like that in America. I'll just no. say that. That was memorable. And, you know, every single goal was, was memorable too. Uh, and we had to have some squeaky bum time as well. <laughs> we did to, indeed. Just to cap it off. We did indeed. I think you had a, a perfect game, a little bit. Yeah, rest, yeah, you? a little bit of everything. I enjoyed it, yeah. It was, it was a complete experience. Oh, brilliant. Well, thank you, Joe. <laughs> Next time you're down, Make sure you come For back sure, and see yeah. us. Thank you guys. Brilliant. So much. Lovely to meet. Yeah. Ethan, would you like to come on? Hi, I liked your little hat that you made there to keep yourself dry for a little good. bit. That was good. What did you think of the game? Uh, played me a little good in this first half, a little bit. Yeah. And then second half, as soon as we got that second goal from Lewis Cook, I think we were, we were good. Yeah, I felt so too. I, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way that it went. Uh, almost the kind of. Perfect. I was just chatting to a, a, a guy there. He was come from America. A great yeah. game for someone to watch. Who, uh, yeah. You know, the bit you know, not used to watching the cherries. Um, much better performances than some of the other performances we've yeah, had yeah. this season. Like the one that we had, I think it was Redden. Yeah. Redden. I oh, think yeah. we played. We played all right first half again, but shame to concede that uh, goal as well. And that second goal don't deserve to concede that. I mean, it's a sweaty goal. See for that is. Yeah. <laughs> but. Oh, well, at least we've got the three points. Yeah, and credit to Bristol. I mean, they kept coming, didn't they? They kept yeah. trying to get something from the game. Uh, and that I, maybe that helped us. I'm not sure. We've talked about that before. The team's come at us. It gives us a little bit more space to do what we want to do. Uh, who's your man of the match today? I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah, I think maybe Kelly played all right, actually. Um, Chrissy played all right. I think... Who else played well? Adam Smith was my man in the match, actually. Oh, that's nice to get a bit of, bit of 
he went down at one point, but I yeah, think he was I just think, being Adam Smith, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, Adam Smith, in it? But I thought he was, like, holding his ear. I was like, oh, great, here we go. But seemed all right and played all right. <laughs> Yeah, different, definitely. So uh, a few games left now to the end of the season. We've only got nine left, yeah. but we're going to do it, aren't we, Ethan? Yeah, I think we'll win three and draw two. So that should be enough. That's what I reckon. That's yeah. ex- almost exactly what I reckon. Brilliant. Lovely to have you on. Good right. to see you again. And you. See you, buddy. Have the cherries. The cherries. Come on, Hello. Oh, look at this. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I can get to your height. He's tall, I know. Just making me look small. What's it doing to me though? That's what I'm worried I've about. I've only come on to just I've only come on just to keep you guys out in the rain for longer. Yeah. So. It feels, like, feels like some kind of comedy sketch now, doesn't it? I'll do that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, gentlemen, the game today, was that what you expected when you woke up this morning and the sun was shining? It wasn't part of the plan, but this is a championship and after 37 games, we should be used to it, shouldn't we? So 1-0 uh, down after three minutes. If there was a good out of that is that we had 87 minutes to try and recover, unlike yeah. other games where we've only had 20, 25 minutes. So I thought we played very, very well, actually, uh, throughout the game. I thought we were trying to do the right things. The only criticism, if there is one, is that we weren't having enough pot shots in the first half. And you know what? When you have a shot outside the box, you never know what's going to happen. And, that, and, and Lewis Cook did that. And look, they're trying to score nice goals. We were trying to make something happen from corners. And I get all of that. But sometimes you just need to have a shot. I completely, completely agree. Uh, Steve, what did you think of the game today? Who was your man of match? And, and uh, if you're Scott Parker, what are you saying to the team going into the two away trips coming up? Well, Lewis Cook for me, by a country mile, man of the match today, um, made everything flow lovely today. He just kept the tempo going. He, everything good started from him. Uh, if I was Scott Parker, what would I say? Oh, well, I'd be saying more of the same because I thought some of our play was brilliant today I thought the, the, the early on the patterns of play even though we went 1-0 down yeah. the crowd was still on our side at that point and we, we I mean getting down the flanks we had Adam Smith Ryan Christie some of the interplay there I mean it's down our end that first half some of the little flicks tricks yeah it was, it was like watching it was literally mm. champagne football at some points but we couldn't quite finish it off and like Kirk said if we just have that shot you never know what's going to happen. And Lewis did that in the second half. And we got, I even said to Sam at half time, I said, this could be 4 1. Yeah. Because we were so dominant and we were so, I mean, it was so much better than they were. I was really surprised how poor they were, to be fair. But yeah, if I was, if I was Scott going into the rest of the game, just keep playing the way we're playing. I mean, that's a low block today. Yeah. And we've essentially destroyed them. Yeah. I know the, I think the scoreline obviously doesn't say that. But take away the two minutes at the end, two minutes at the beginning, the rest of the game, we were dominant completely. So, yeah, more of the same for me. Moving to Wednesday, yeah. and I'm setting myself right up here, but yeah. I actually fancy us <laughs> because a it's a Steve Bruce side, and <laughs> I'm not a big fan, and I don't rate Steve Bruce, although on paper his CV probably looks pretty decent. Um, take a draw, though, on Wednesday, getting that result. I think we only need to win maybe four or five max games. So, uh, yeah, but that's, that's it. Setting myself up, but, you know, let's go win on Wednesday <laughs> if we can. I've got to say, on the last two performances... So that and Huddersfield, uh, probably my early season or mid-season criticism of Scott Parker feels a little bit silly now. I know it's you know you take it by you know as it's going, but hopefully we're going to get now this team for the end I think of the it's season. It's taken this long to get his you know point through to the players and get them playing like he wants them to. It yeah. just maybe didn't click so quickly as we thought it should have done. But you know maybe he's got his message across now, and we're starting to see the fruits of his labour. No, I thought I can retract my you know, criticisms yeah, as well. And, and I thought we were knocking the door down. I thought Dembele was bright when he came on. Great goal. You know, there's still points in there for me that you could look at. I mean, it's, he doesn't like to bench Billing. I thought Billing was good today, just like he was at Huddersfield. But you've got Cantwell on the bench. And yeah. when you're 3-1 up, bring Cantwell on. A fresh yeah. player who's got technical ability at keeping the ball, switching it, changing angles, keeping triangles going. And, you know, there's little things like that where I don't understand why we've got a player like Todd Cantwell sitting on the bench when you're 3-1 up. Um, so, you know, there are little things. But um, overall, no, you know, I'm happy. And, and this is what we want to see really if we can from here on in but I think there will be some games where we do need to maybe be a little bit acute and get get some points against the likes of Fulham's and we will need to be tactically on it tactically on it indeed and we are uh, in the freezing rain now so we're going to call it (laughs) (laughs) yeah let's get it go Uh, thank you gentlemen
And thank you for watching. Uh, if you would, please just give this a like, a subscribe if you, if you enjoyed it. Even if you didn't, just subscribe anyway. And, and tick the little bell thing. Tells you when we're coming up next. And we've got so much content coming up, including the vlog tomorrow. We've got two away games in a row. So there's going to be tons of stuff around all of that. And a special video coming out oh, with some people, uh, which I won't spoil for you. I'll let you watch it yourself. Thank you so much. From back in the net, Dean Court. Mwah.